Hi, I'm Donna Stellhorn, and I'm the author of 2013, Year of the Water Snake. And today we're talking to people who were born in the Year of the Horse. And I am giving a few more tips and predictions and things like that. Now, Chinese New Year this year begins on Sunday, February 10th. And I want you to look at the upper right-hand corner here on this slide. I have the dates for uh, Year of the Horse. Now, you can see it doesn't go just from January 1st to January 1st. So check the date. Make sure that you are born in the Year of the Horse. Horse is a fantastic uh, sign. Uh, not mine. Wish it was. Um, they, they are about popularity and power and beauty and just you could just picture them just moving along the prairie, the whole herd of them. Uh, this is a Western Zodiac wheel. I'm a Western astrologer, so I'm placing the Chinese signs in this Western wheel so I can see their relationship to each other. And as you can see in this year of the snake that we're having, horse is the next sign. So this is, if we, if we were starting here with uh, snake, you have been waiting 11 years for your time, and you have one more year to wait. So this is kind of the, the lowest energy point for horse. This is the time where you have to finish up projects to complete as many things as possible so that you can be ready when it is your year in 2014. So I have a couple of tips for you uh, just because you, you really need to be finishing up and making sure that everything that you've been doing for the last 11 years uh, up until 2014 gets really completed. So because we want energy still moving, because we don't want things to get stuck, and we want you to have some prosperity, I'm recommending a tabletop fountain. And this particular fountain, as you can see, has three bowls. This is important. A lot of fountains I see these days have four bowls. And I guess there is some sort of symmetry to that, but unfortunately, the number four in feng shui is considered very unlucky. The number four, the word for four, sounds like the Chinese word for death. And so that homonym connects these two and so four is considered very unlucky. And even in Western numerology, the number four is associated with hard work and, and uh, sharp angles and effort and all of those things. So choose a fountain that has three elements rather than four. Now, uh, because you're very straightforward, horses very together, likes to move forward and all that, this is a snake year. And so snake is about secrets and cunning and maybe, you know, suspicion and, you know, maybe not always people who tell you the truth. I'm recommending that you find a ruby. Now, I know rubies are really expensive, but you can find mineral grade rubies in rock shops or you can find little ruby chips in some jewelry. The uh, lore about the ruby is that when you're around somebody who you can't trust, the ruby will turn dark. So, but the ruby itself, it's, it's a stone that will attract people to you, people who are going to be upfront with you and honest, people who are going to really help you out. And so these are some of the things that you can do while you're waiting for your year. And by the way, I do have my uh, 2014 Chinese Astrology site up, 2014ChineseAstrology.com, if you want to check out what is up for horse. Now, that's uh, it. Uh, again, I hope you will get my book, uh, 2013, Year of the Water Snake. There is a lot more in there, more predictions, feng shui cures, and I hope you have a great year.